Uh, hello YouTube, uh, Luke here again, next video here for Legacy of the Duelist. This is the Cleaver deck I used during the Duelist challenges. Right, so let's uh, start off with the monsters. So we've got uh, Perform Power Trampolinx, uh, 3 Cleaver Monolith, 3 Scout, 3 Carrier, 2 Helix, Cephalopod, 3 Disc, 2 Shell, 2 Stealth, and Apocryphal Towers. And Spells, Laser Clip, Limit Removal, 2 Pot of Duality, 3 Sacrifice, 3 Storm, 3 Summoner's Art, 3 Upstart Goblin, Climate Change, and 2 Skill Drain, Vec Dweller, Exiton, Cowboy 101, Ragnar Zero, Heartland Draco, Crazy Box, Steel Sword Merch, Volcosaurus, Tyrus, M7, Dire Dragon, Draco Sack, Felgrand, and Heliopolis. Uh, let's start off with the monsters. Now, Trampolinks, if this card is normal sum, you can target one card in either player's Pendulum Zone, return to the hand. And Pendulum Effect, when you Pendulum Summon a monster, you can target one card in either player's Pendulum Zone, return to the hand. You can only use this effect to paint Trampolinks once per turn. Sorry, it's going a bit too fast then. But anyway, uh, you normal summon it, or you do a Pendulum Summon once there, and you target Pendulum. Uh, most commonly, you'd want to target this. Uh, so let's say you, you put the scout on the field on, on one of the pendulum scales and you put trampolinks on one of the pendulum scales, you do your search, pendulum summon, trampolinks effect, turn scout to your hand and then you get to put him back on the scale and search again. That's uh, what he does, so I'll, I'll run one of them. Uh, monolith, is his effect is uh, all, all the um, Clee monsters share one ability, that's if one of them's in the Pendulum Scale, you cannot special summon monsters except Klee monsters, if any one of them's in the Pendulum Scale. But now, this guy uh, here, uh, during the end phase, if you Tribute Summon this turn, you can draw a number of cards equal to the number of Klee monsters you tributed for Tribute Summon this turn, so good draw power of this guy. Uh, Scout has the effect that once per turn, you can pay 800 life points, add one Klee card from your deck to hand instead of Klee for Scout. It doesn't have to be the uh, monsters either. It can be the spell or trap cards that uh, Cleave would use if you want. Uh, yeah, that's uh, basically like the main monster. Just searches everything for you. Uh, carrier. All the uh, effect pendulum monsters have also another effect that they all share. That you can normal summon them without tributing. And if they do, they become level 4 and their original attack becomes 18. That's with all of them, even the higher ones. They all have that effect. Uh, they also share another effect as well. The one scale, every one scale has an effect that all clean monsters you control gain 300 attack. And all the nine scales have an effect that all monsters your opponent controls lose 300 attack. That's uh, So nine is your opponents lose 300 and all ones are your cleaves get 300. Anyway, so carrier's effect. Oh, um, yeah, they the uh, effect uh, ones also have another effect that they share. Uh, that includes towers that they cannot be affected by monster effects by level or rank that is lower than their current level. If you normal summon this guy, make him level four, like regardless of which one. Let's just say they you normal summon both and they're level four. So rank 3 and level 3 monsters and below uh, cannot hurt them with their effects. Thing. So if you're normal summon with the tribute, so then he becomes level 6, so it has to be level, it'll be level 5 or higher. Or lower, sorry. But anyway. Uh, now, if this card is tributed, you can uh, target one monster on the field, return it to the hand. So if you tribute summon him, it's a compulsory. Basically. Uh, Helix is... Where is it? If this card is tributed, you can target a spell and trap card on the field and destroy it, so that's an MST when it's tributed. Uh, Cephalopod is when this card is tribute summoned by tributing a Klee monster. Yes. You can activate this effect. If your opponent has more monsters in their graveyard than you do, you gain life points equal to the difference by 300, and if you do inflict the same amount of damage to your opponent. Now, of course, since uh, Pendulum monsters, when they're destroyed or tributed, go to the extra deck and not the graveyard, you're not going to have monsters in your graveyard normally. Uh, disc is... When this card is Tribute Summon by Tribute and Klee, you can uh, special summon two Klee monsters from your deck, but destroy them in the end phase. It's basically an OTK machine. You have a, a couple on the field, or one with the field and sacrifice. Uh, 
normal summon him, special two from the deck, and you can wipe them all out. Uh, basically, if you do your normal guys, they go to 1800. Their normal special. Since uh, their normal summon with their tribute. Uh, let's see. Also, or a special summon, yeah. If these guys are special summoned without tributing, they all go to 18 also, not just the normal summon. Uh, basically, this guy, however, stays at 24 if you want to summon a one or two of him. But uh, yeah, you can OTK with this guy, he's just the machine, really. Uh, Shell is uh, when tribute summoned by Klee. It can make two attacks and has piercing damage. So 2800 to a double attack and piercing damage is not bad. Get stealth is you can target when, tri when, you, when tributing you can target one card on the field return to the hand your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this activation so basically card bottomless etc tarantula you need a solemn warning it as long as laser clip isn't on the field Pogfor Towers the boss monster cannot be special summoned requires three clear tributes to normal summon a set if this card is normal summon a set it is unaffected by spell trap effects and effective effects by any monster whose level whose original level rank is lower than this card so you'd have to if you want to affect them with the monster it has to be level 10 or higher now all special summoned monsters on the field lose 500 attack and defense obviously it's a uh, target itself because it got special summoned uh, so I mean sorry Obviously, that effect is good because this card cannot be special summoned. So, you'd have to your opponent would have to let's see, normal summon a monster for three thousand, or special summon a monster that's level ten or higher and use effect, or maybe use an honest or something. But uh, yeah, so it's pretty hard to get over. Uh, I mean, there are some uh, easier ways like volcanic queen, etc. But anyway, now once per turn, uh, you can make your opponent send one monster from their hand or their side of the field to the graveyard, their choice. So. Your opponent makes your opponent discard a card also. It's got yeah, a couple of nice little effects there. That's your that's my monster lineup anyway. Now laser clip is during your main phase, you can normal summon a clean monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Normal summons of clean monsters cannot be negated, so yeah, no more solemn warning on your stealth or whatever. Using if that's on the field, uh, limited removal, double the attack of all machine type monsters you control at both the activation and resolution of this card. Till the end for this, uh, till the end phase of this turn, destroy, destroy. During the end phase, destroy those monsters. Of course, if they're destroyed, they go to the extra deck. And anyway, double the attack and just win basically. Uh, duality is uh, I use this. It just uh, helps in a way for some consistency. If I mean, if you're selected to go first, you get this card. It'll help you out with your combo pieces. Basically, that's what is lots of combo pieces in this deck. Now, Sacrifice has four different effects. Uh, let's see, equip only, actually, well, five in a way. Equip, equip only to a clean monster, that's one. It gains 300 attack, that's two. Cannot be destroyed by battle, that's three. The equipped monster can be tributed, uh, treated as two tributes with a tribute summon of clean monster, that's the fourth effect. And last effect is that if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one clean monster from your deck to hand. So, four or five effects, depending on how you want to go about it, but it's still pretty broken and stupid anyway. Uh, like, uh, you can get like a disc on the field or one of them with only one monster on the field. I mean, you can just go laser clip, normal summon anything, attach this, summon one of these guys, or if you pendulum summon, have at least two monsters on the field, and this, get the towers out. Uh, works well with the storm, you can destroy this card. I mean, you can set this card on the field, you don't have to equip it, you can just set it. Uh, destroy it with Storm, and destroy your opponent's back row, search with it. Yeah. So we'll get to the Storm now. Uh, destroy as many spell trap cards you control as possible, then destroy as many spell trap cards your opponent controls as possible, up to the number of cards destroyed with this effect. Now this, uh, uh, the thing, good thing about this card is that your opponent doesn't even have to have any for this to activate. Basically, you just destroy your field, regardless of how many your opponent's got. But yeah, let's just say your opponent does have a couple. I think I, they did in my duel. I think I used this. I might have had the scout in the field and the sacrifice. So destroyed my scout and sacrifice. Destroyed my two opponents' back row. Sacrifice goes off. So, I mean, you can just set this card on the field. Destroy it with Storm. Destroy your opponent's back row or whatever. Uh, whatever or whatever they've got. 
And uh, yeah, it's in search of it, so it's a very good card. So I like it a lot. Uh, you see a lot of storm builds on YouTube if you want. Uh, Summoner's Art is you can add one level 5 or high normal to your deck to your hand. So either your Monolith or your Scout. Upstart Goblin, draw a card. Helps you draw, get into your deck faster. And only three traps. Climate change is add up to three face up clee pendulum monster cards from your extra deck to your hand. You can only activate one climate page change per turn. Uh, so yeah, depending on what's in there, maybe you just want to bring a stealth back if that's all you've got in there, or other things to make a big play. It's not a bad card. Eh? A two skill drain, activate by paying 1,000 life points. The effects of all face-up monsters on the field are negated while those monsters are face-up on the field, but their effects can still be activated. Now what this does is that you can normal summon your clean monsters and they get their original level and attack back. Uh, so yeah, you can just normal summon this guy for 24 and normal summon these ones for their 2800 attack. Obviously you won't get their effects anymore. Uh, but uh, yeah, you just normal summon everything and have the original attack, so it's pretty good to have in a way. Uh, right, uh, extra deck you barely summon, you can barely summon anything at times because you're normally going to have any Klee monster that, any Klee pendulum monster in the pendulum zone, that means you cannot special summon monsters except Klees, regardless of what's on there. Uh, the only time you can really do it is if you have a trampolines, anything pendulum summon, return that Klee to the hand. And then you might have two level 4 monsters on the field or something else and then, you know, it's not a deck where you generally exceed summon anyway, it's just basically you try and OTK or win on the next turn with it. Alrighty then, uh, if you saw the duel, I hope you enjoyed that as well. So anyway, until next time, uh, thank you all for watching and see you again soon.